Right guys, we're here at Manchester Airport the night before we fly out to the Olympia, which is held in Las Vegas. Um, so we're a few days out now and I cannot wait for it. So as I spoke in the last episode, um, I wanted to keep the carbs in for as long as I can and to stay as full as possible throughout this prep. The reason for that is I wanted to stay um, bigger and look, give the bigger illusion on stage this time round. And it's only been the last few weeks where I've really dramatically cut the, uh, the carbs down uh, and the calories down. For me, this system seems to have worked really well. Um, I've came in a lot tighter this time, my body fat's a lot lower um, and I've held on to a bit more mass and my energy levels are still good and I'm, I'm really excited to get on stage soon. As you can imagine, obviously long haul flights, you will retain water from them. So my strategy is to get out there a few days before. Familiarise yourself with um, where you're staying, obviously finding a local gym, the nutrition side and obviously getting that water retention out by overloading with water, so, so loading water when you get there, trying to flush it out um, and just adjusting to, to obviously the hot weather in Vegas um, before stepping on stage. It's an amazing feeling knowing my family coming out to support me. Um, I know I've got a lot of uh, fans and, and friends out there already, but it, it's nice to have close family traveling with me and e experiencing it um, alongside me. My girlfriend's coming out as well, which she has prepped with me uh, for the last 12 weeks. So it's kind of um, a thing we're doing together this time around and it's boosted me. It's given me more excitement uh, that way because all my previous preps have been on my lonesome. So, it's been nice to share that with her and I'll hopefully do uh, my family, my friends, my fans, my sponsors, everyone proud out there. Yeah, so my carb intake this year will be um, a two day quite hard carbon, but it will all be complex carbs. I've never been a fan of putting junk food or fast acting sugars, i.e. sweets and things like that uh, before stage, just because my body's not used to that. So I put something into the body which it's not been used to for the last 12 weeks. I'm gonna try and get my cardio done still first thing in the morning uh, before we set off. And then once we land there, we're gonna go into circuits. So they're gonna be full body circuits, nothing too arduous or too intense. Um, it's just gonna be getting blood into the system, um, getting the water retention out obviously by training and uh, running until Thursday. And Thursday morning I'll um, do my final depletion circuit and I'll stop uh, training for the, for the two days before the show. So traditionally, after every show I do in America, we always uh, visit Cheesecake Factory. I know that's like, oh, Cheesecake Factory, because everyone talks about it, it's the common thing to go, but for me, it is one of my favorite restaurants out there. I've been out there the last two years and, and I've sampled quite a few restaurants out there, um, but I do like uh, the burgers there and a nice cheesecake and an Oreo milkshake after uh, to celebrate with my family and friends. I'm really excited about this one. Um, I've got a point to prove to myself and to a few few people out there that I'm not quite done yet um, and I'm hopefully going to bring, bring my best package. I've done everything I can on this prep and in, most importantly I've enjoyed this prep so I hope that shows on stage. I've got a new um, routine which I'm looking forward to showing and uh, I hope you all like it.